Hi, we'll quickly etch a printed circuit board whilst recovering all of the copper by thickening another printed circuit board. Either to recycle the copper or to use that printed circuit board in a higher current application such as a power supply. This is the board that we're etching. This is a double sided board. Uh, the copper on the other side will be etched away. We don't need that copper on the other side. We just need it as a single sided board. We have a surface mount pattern plus a dual in line eight pin pattern on there. So we'll be etching away all of the copper except for that uh, which is protected by the photosensitive uh, etch resist left on that circuit board. That's been transferred on there using a laser printed sensor on an overhead transparency film. To dissolve away the copper, we're going to be using an electrolysis reaction. This solution contains about 40 grams of copper per 100 grams, which is close to saturation. This will be our cathode, which will collect the copper from the reaction. This will be the anode, which you're going to be etching away. The anode will be placed with the back facing the cathode so that the back will be etched faster than the front. Now we should stop the etching process when the copper starts to vanish. In this setup we are using a stirred beaker but you could just as well use a vertical bubble tank or any other arrangement. Agitation does help so we will be using a stirrer. We'll connect up the negative to the cathode as shown and a positive for the anode. That will be running at 0 0.6 volts as I mentioned, there should not be any gas produced at those sorts of voltages. Simply the copper will be dissolving off of the anode onto the cathode. The net reaction for the electrolyte will be zero, so the electrolyte will last for quite some time. The etching has been running for 35 minutes, so I had to turn the anode around about halfway through to get it evenly etched. The rear of the anode is now completely clear. The front has started to erode the etch away now, but we don't want the etching process to complete using the electrical method, else the current builds up around the tracks will start preferentially built etching on the coordinates of the track. So this is now what the circuit looks like, partially etched. Is at least 90% of the copper has been etched away using this process. The cathode now looks like this. So there is a layer of copper on this cathode that has been built up. If I polish it with some oil wool, That will expose bright clean copper, ready for further processing, whether it's photo processing or direct transfer. And if you look there, there is a ridge visible. You can see the copper has built up, so it's probably about twice the thickness at that point. I'll go and get the uh, vernier caliper in a second and we'll check the thickness. Okay. So we've built up about 0.1 millimeter of copper onto this onto this cathode, which would make that very suitable over a larger area, of course, for higher current power supply use, etc. Now this will just be be etched in the normal way using a etching solution, perhaps. Now the conventional pickling has finished. 
because uh, I don't want to use electrolysis pickling for the last uh, few thicknesses of that copper and clean it off with some ethanol. So there are lovely clean copper tracks and pretty much all of the copper that we've removed has been built up on the uh, on the cathode. 